I don't want to slow this down any more than it needs to. I want to do just a full experience of this entire demo, man. Um, I'm going to probably be grinding the hell out of the demo just to get used to the gameplay. But before we get into anything, one thing I do want to say here for anybody playing the demo or watching content creators such as myself on stream or on YouTube or whatever that are playing the demo, please take what we say with a pinch of salt. You need to understand that the likelihood that this demo is a very old build of FIFA 19 is super high, okay? So if there are things that we find that are wrong with the game or, or messed up or frustrating or feel like, you know, as poor of gameplay as the, the beta was, remember that unfortunately this is probably going to be a very very old build and might not represent um too much of what actual fifa 19 gameplay is going to be like now i'm going to turn off the music as well in game because god knows that uefa or whoever the artists are are going to copyright everything um so we've got the champions league and a little bit of news about the champions league in the demo which is exciting so i'm just going to go for a deep dive look into the demo see what's all available uh there's the journey we're going to check out which i still think is an insane thing that they're pushing for instead of updating career mode and pro clubs they're dumping millions of dollars and i guess you know working with partners and sponsorships for the journey maybe that they just don't think they can get out of you know updating and, and running a career mode series properly I, I i don't know either way we've got a lot of stuff to look to i'm going to try and keep it positive share my opinions positive and negative about things but not go down the rabbit hole of complaining about pro clubs and career mode and stuff like that because i've done it far too much so oh what is this stat tracking name track oh, okay again so that's probably just purely 50 50 battles okay i really got it like before we even look into this stuff ultimate team i'm gonna skip through all of this um <laughs> sneaky all right um customize game settings um visual rules audio commentary where is the oh there's the music okay let's turn that all down i will listen to the fifa 19 playlist and that's something that i'm going to add into my own spotify playlist i've got a old school fifa tunes um playlist that has music from fifa 08 all the way up to fifa 16 i actually haven't added fifa 17 or fifa 18 or fifa 19 songs into it yet but i should probably do that um stadium ambiance i mean we could probably do something like that menu sound effects of like three commentary five uh language subtitles that's fine rules um should i just keep it no i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to what i normally do so we go here and then we go custom and then it's wait camera is it it's zoom out and camera height 20 right that's normally what i do let's see if that works as well for fifa 19 so there we go. We got everything set up in terms of the, the controls. I mean, EA is going to remember my controls, obviously, as well for FIFA 19. So let's get into things. Now, I think the first thing I want to do is just get a feel for the gameplay. Then we can check out the journey. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of content creators out there as well. Uh, maybe that weren't at the capture event. You know, something that I, you know, would even consider of doing, doing in the past. I'm kind of trying to get over that stuff, you know. Not that I'm against the marketing or clickbaiting and stuff like that, but... I just don't know if I'm, I I, I want to be the type of guy to make like a standalone video anymore of all oh, the journey part one. And it's literally, you know, me playing through the demo journey, you know, for however few minutes that is. So I think I'm just going to keep it all comprised into one. Um, I don't know how much demo, uh, like demo videos or footage or anything there's going to be specifically. I, I, I think if anything, we're going to keep going with, because I enjoy doing them, um, just squads, building squads with the FIFA 19 database, and then maybe playing a game or something, you know, midway through a recording or playing a game throughout the day on stream while we're doing squads until the 20th. Um, I think that's, I think that's going to be the plan here. So, um, either way, this should be fun. I'm excited. Uh, so this is all the same, right? I mean, it shows your gamer tag there. Ooh. Play a match in the Champions League. Okay, that's kind of cool. Is this... Classic match. Is this going to track my actual wins and losses and stuff like that? Like, even in the demo? That would be dope. Is this all grayed out? Meaning I can't play it? House rules. Oh, this is all grayed out anyways, bro. Okay, so it's literally Champions League specific. Okay. 
Watch me get copyrighted by UEFA, man. Honestly, I've seen a lot of content creators from the from the Game Changer Network with um releasing career mode videos and then getting copyright claimed by UEFA for images. Um, so and and I had that happen this year in my career mode as well. I managed to argue it uh, as fair use and literally within a video game, and then they stopped it. But UEFA and FIFA seem to really be wanting to try and make any profit possible off of content even if it comes from a video game anyways we'll see maybe this demo this video uh, if it if it becomes one will get copyrighted um so what is this should we do it random or do we want to try out someone like okay i might want to try out what are the exciting players that i wanted to try out i want to really want to feel how good um, mbappe is so i actually am going to go with with PSG first. I think that might be the most exciting player that I'm looking forward to. And I know he's going to be impossible to get on my road to glory. So we're, well, on my poor man road to glory. So I'm going to try and get him on the rich man road to glory quickly, Mbappe. Um, all right, there you go. P I just randomized it. So PSG versus Juventus. Amateur AI. How do I fix that? Amateur AI. What is this? CPU team difficulty. CPU team difficulty. This is so weird. What is this? Beginner. Oh my god. Is Legendary the hardest one? Alright. We're going to get slot. I'm confused. So why does it say Amateur AI then? Over there. Is that... Oh! It, wait. Is that my CPU? Okay. Hold on. Um, Might be... Might be misunderstanding things here. Ooh, I like that. Pretty sweet kit. I mean, this kit's going to be fine too. Um, ah, here we go. So game settings. Definitely don't want it on amateur. Let's do... Um, let's try legendary. You know what, man? I mean, we're going to get slapped up from the very beginning as well. Okay, manage team. So let's check out... Aha! Can you set up custom formations even here? So game plans, custom formations and stuff like that. We, you know, we, I, I tested that a little bit in the, the beta, even though the beta gameplay was horrible. Um, this was one of the best things that, uh, I think we all got to see out of, out of the beta and gameplay from the capture event and all that stuff is the custom formations. Now, um, yeah, yeah looks like you can wait, can you formations? God, I can't remember. Okay, edit game plan. Aha! Uh -huh. So, holding. Let's go in here. Um, okay, so is this the... Wait, hold on. I, I need to remember something. Edit. Edit game plan. Holding. That's ultra defensive, defensive, attacking. Okay, so let's adjust attacking real quick. I'll show you guys like the uh, the the... The, the custom formation changes and whatnot real quick here. And maybe I'll make something standalone with this as well. Um, how to set up your own custom formations and tactics and, and all of that stuff. I'm sure Nep, um, you know, and someone that's even better at putting this type of uh, stuff together would be doing this as well. So here you go. So what I love is for your attacking tactic now, even if you start at 4 one, two, one, two, if you click attacking, it'll now go to 4-2-3-1 narrow. And you can even set up your squad how you would want it. So like Neymar wide left, Cavani through the middle, uh, through the middle, Rabio and Verratti through the back line, Silva, Marquinhos, Alves. Um, okay, so I'll have to bring in someone at Cam instead of Lo Celso. Maybe even bring in Di Maria or Julian Draxler or something like that. And then you can again go as far as um defensive tactics width so i'm actually going to make the width a little bit tighter uh yeah let's push the depth up a little bit right it's an attacking setup play style possession um offensive we'll keep the width. i like that though i like that you could turn up the defensive and offense offensive width players in the box let's turn that down just a little uh corners i'm okay with free kicks actually i'm going to draw back a bit i feel like even in corners, man. You know what? Let's draw corners back a bit because the counter attack is going to be pretty strong. So there we go. That's how we've got um, our tactics set up. And then instructions again, it's identical to last year. So stay, you know, stay central, get in behind, uh, always stay forward. Mbappe, stay forward. Um, let's give Mbappe free roam. And same thing for, I always want to say Dino. I don't know why. For Neymar, that's weird. 
I might have even already said it. Um, Rabio, I'm going to get to stay back while attacking and cut passing lanes. And then I'm going to keep balanced on Verratti. Alves, um, join attack, and then Kurzawa will keep on balanced. There you go. Okay, so confirm game plan. You click back. Attacking game plan saves. So see how see how like clean that is. And then real quick, I'll do a um, I'll do a defensive one just to show you guys. So again, you go formations. You just click L two. Um, let's try something like three five two or three five. Yeah, three five two. Or should we go like really with something properly defensive like five two three one? I kind of like three five two more. I, I doubt we're gonna get you know rocked out so squad okay neymar let's drop do that okay Verratti. so kurzawa will be on the left again sesto will need to be uh replaced alves as right mid um rabio Verratti. there we go uh marquinhos and silva oh i so so there is the one downside there is the one downside, if you will. That's going to be um, a little bit more tough. Because again, uh, Lo Celso, if I switch to 4-2-3-1, if I get a proper cam in the team, when I go to attacking, he goes to cam. But if I go to defensive and the, the team switches automatically in game, again, I would maybe want someone else in the team, like Di Maria, right mid, as opposed to... Whoever. So maybe we do get someone like Di Maria that can play a cam in 4-2-3-1 and then we'll switch over to right mid um, in... Yeah, okay. I think that... So that works. The formation is set up. Tactics. So pressure on heavy touch. Press, press after possession loss. I kind of like pressure on heavy touch. That's a bit scary. Um, again, defensively, let's go nice and deep. Width again is going to be a little bit tighter. Offensively is going to be um, long ball or fa yeah, long ball could work. Let's try long ball. Uh, width offensively will be a little bit wider. Wider players in the box going to be a little bit less, of course. Corners, free kicks. Okay, perfect. And then instruction: stay central, get in behind, stay central, stay forward. Um, come back on defense. Come back on defense. Uh, I don't think that one matters. Stay back. Stay back. Okay, so now if I click back, we've got an attacking setup in 4-2-3-1. We have a defensive setup in 3-5-2, and then we have a balanced setup in, in this formation. Now, again, the only change uh, I think I want to make here from the very beginning, actually, maybe put Rabio there, and then Celso will go Dima. There you go. So it's a bit weird to have Dima at left center mid although i think he'd be all right there being left footed um and then when we switch to four two three one now it should make sense right if we switch to four two three one's formation Di maria goes at cam right or did i just i might have just screwed everything up i might have just screwed everything up let's test it out though let's see how it works that's how i think it works right because Di maria what took a place of lacelso and lacelso we had up at cam in four two three one and we had him at right mid in three five two so by logic that sh that should be how it works i don't know maybe i just reset everything by subbing him out I i'm not sure i'm not sure we'll find out we'll find out real quick all right so let me pause this terrible playlist and uh let's see how we do all right so this is where potentially we could get copyrighted by uefa again even though it has everything to do just with fifa and ea's image rights but i'd be a bit worried god damn i mean from playing pez 19 even for the demo EA just wins outright, man, in terms of graphics and, and, and presentation. I would say for a long time, Pez had amazing presentation, but with what EA have done in the last two or three years, in terms of presentation like this and a reskin for the Champions League, apparently, um, I've seen either rumors, or I hope it's not fake images, but apparently there's TIFO now in the game, depending on what players you have on the field. And I think it might only apply to Legends, so like R9 or D for me, Dino or Johan Cruyff, if I have them in the team, oh man. If I start seeing TIFOs in my team, I'm going to be really, really excited about it. Um, but there we go. See, again, the Champions League music. 
Unfortunately, I'm going to skip it because you know that we're going to just get rocked out with the copyright. Might already be happening, honestly. Um, okay, let's see. Tifu Tifos. Wait, okay. Okay, so, real quick here. Um, I am going to keep the trainer on. Movement and buttons. Just movement. Now, movement and oh, mechanics. So that's the time finishing. For the time being, I want to have ah, pass receiver indicator. You can, oh, you can go as off. Shot elevation off. I genuinely just want to have the timed finishing bar on so I can get used to it. I like that you could be as specific as possible right there. So that's really, really cool. All right, let's try that. Um, and let's see, man, I'm going to have to erase like three weeks of playing Pez 19 now. This is going to be, I'm going to get crushed, dude. Um, so let's go on attacking right away. Uh, where's, where's, uh, how do you go on attacking? What the hell? Um, I actually wish you could take off the arrow too. Isn't it just... Oh, oh God. Oh. Okay. I like again having that little um that little uh oh, how do you play again? I'm legendary, so I'm not too Wait, let's go. Oh, GG, big save. Okay. All right. I thought it was just the 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 bars, the arrows. Look at Cristiano doing him now. Okay. We're starting with that type of a shot, huh? Alrighty. Yeah, gameplay is madness fast in comparison to uh because oh, dude, I'm getting rocked out here. Good tackle, manual tackle there. Again, Pez, the horrible thing that got that I got used to in Pez is you it's like it's like FIFA 12 or 11. You just hold X and you go teleport and uh homing missile tackle. The AI. What is this? Radio. Danny Alves with it. Good. That's good. Here's Mbappe. Big shot stop. Verratti. Neymar. Okay, so that's a regular shot. Oh, I like it though. So wait, you just have to hold the power enough and then it's it's going to be a perfect shot? I thought you had to double tap um, for time finishing. The tackle. Ape. Here we go. Oh! Okay. Hmm. It is double tap, I believe. In terms of volleys, I got to really figure out how I get that set up. Oi, that was actually pretty close. Not bad, Verratti. Bro. Okay, there you go. Striker drop back, press. I like that. Where is defensive and offensive? I'm legit confused. You hold... So pressing... I trap, bro. Oh my god, I just fisted myself there. High pressure. Oh, God, I didn't see that. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. I just got four buttons? What do you mean? No, dude, I'm telling you. What, like, how do you go attacking or not? I'm, I'm not even kidding. Right? Left. Up. Down is the only thing that gets anything to work. Defensive tactics. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout Good stages play. start, I must admit. Beautiful play. The, uh, Beautiful the play. Edinson. An to everybody to all the teams option B. In the competition. I think that's wow, my bad. Get to know the players, the I, 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 I barely put any power on that chip ball. Oh, start, nice. The real excitement for me kicks in. See, I hate the fact that the arrows are there. Like, the arrow of the player I'm controlling is so shit, but I, 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 I want to be able to try and figure out time finishing. Might be broken. I, I think it... I genuinely think it is. Trust me, like, I know how to go attacking or defensive on FIFA. That's a goal. Um, alright, so long shots, I think that's safe to say, are so much more common for FIFA 19 than they are for Pez. 
Like, if you tried to take a long shot like that with Blaze Matuidi's right foot in Pez, you're, that's never going in. Wow, look at this. What a Whereas in FIFA, a like... Chance. Did he swerve? Is the keeper at fault? He won't care. Dude, I mean, come on so now. Sweetly. Turn well, trainer let's off. Another look at that goal, shall we? Doesn't he have, like, a two-star weak foot? <laughs> Anyways... Two-star weak foot. So he's shooting on someone real quick for me with the FIFA 19 database. And this is just for fun. I'm not moaning and whatever, you know, as annoying as it is to concede something like that based off of the perceived stats for someone. Blaze Matuidi on a two-star weak foot is 40% of his actual stats, right? When he goes to shoot. So what is his long shots and curve? I'd love to know. Oh, okay. So the time... I See, I got the time finishing in the shot uh, in the shot bar. Well, I can't believe they're not level. How close can you get without the ball going in the net? Um, again, remember, take what I say with a grain of salt. This is the uh, demo, which is a very old build of FIFA. Yeah, his long shots would be very interesting to see what they are. Pretty sure Futway's already has all that stuff. And here's Kedira. I didn't even notice. Was that kickoff? Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Um, any, a lot of videos I saw with Game Changers said that kickoff wasn't really there. So, I'm hoping that's true. Okay, so he has 70 long shots. Times that by 20%. If the weak foot, 40%, technically. It's not 20%. It's 40%. Um, so... 70 40 percent of 70 is is what it's like 30. so technically uh, according to what we know of the weak foots and percentage of your statistics and long shots blaze matuidi should have like 28 to 30 or 32 or whatever long shots um with that right foot so that's a bit weird but again you're always gonna have you know the argument someone that's sensible um, so I would think like someone like Nep that looks at every situation, Nep would probably say, yeah, but like, there's still, even though he has 30 shooting or whatever, there's still, let's say 30% chance that for that long shot, it goes and get, goes towards the net. Right. So there's always that. I mean, maybe it's like three out of 10 of those types of long shots are going to go towards the net. And that just happened to be one of those three. So there's that argument again. It is a bit, that is a crazy shot. Like what even is that though? Even. Anyways, so, moving forward, I genuinely think it's broken. I, like, literally, literally think on the demo, if it's the up and down arrow, like it was in the beta and in every FIFA since, look, it's literally doing nothing. There's no, unless there's something new. Dude, my God, man. I, like, imagine three weeks of playing Pez and I have the worst uh, habits ever. Holding X to try and make tackles. Now, Great ball. Now, Kurosawa. Great ball. Let's just name on. Kurosawa. Radio. Options for Di Maria. The tight dribbling is still L1, now, it seems, Rabiot. which is good. And it is Marco Verratti. Daniel. Let's see what he has in store for them. Hmm. Yeah, I was trying to trying to hit Mbappe there. I think I aimed that poorly. Ah, so the only way to use attack or not is you need to turn trainer off. Wait, show or hide? Is that the same thing? Hide? No way. Is that real? Let's see. Oh my god. So yeah, you can't have the trainer on if you want to go on attacking or not. So all right, well, we're on attacking now. Which takes us to 4-2-3-1. Let's see if Di Maria switches over to where I think he will switch. A great play. That is a great play. Come on. I have no options. Oh. Ah! Okay, so there you go. If you're having those issues, yeah, you need to turn. It's a glitch. Again, it's an old build of FIFA 19, so I'm assuming by the launch of FIFA 19 they'll have that fixed. If not, hopefully there's an EA guy that's watching my content or anybody else that's making the demo. Uh, or Reddit. I'm sure they'll have that fixed real quick. Um, yeah, so so if you want to be able to use your attacking or defensive tactics, your formation Here's tactics and whatnot, you need to make sure that you have... Um, and it's gone out for a throw in. You need to have your trainers turned off. Okay, so it does work. See Di Maria? He is the cam now. That's sick. Uh, 
like that a lot, dude. No more. Is he going to punish them here? Again, I'm not entirely Spurs sure, though. That, that... No real How am I going to get better with the trainer if I don't have it on? At least for the first couple of weeks, you know? Pjanic now. It's with Dybala. Oh my god. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward. That's my fault. 100%. What a dumb pass. Never do that, man. That Oh, I'm an idiot. Multiple bad passes there. Goodness. Now Kurzawa. Neymar. God, Neymar is so good on the ball. Holy. Inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Mbappe with it. Okay. Didn't do very well there, but I thought that was a decent amount of power, so. Here's Mbappe. Cavani. Oh, that first touch from Mbappe. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, that was... I just didn't take that properly, man. Did you see his first touch? That's new. I mean, that is so new. That first touch was so gorgeous. Classic Nick 2018. Almost holding on to possession too much. Neymarzito. Oh, God. I went for the double tap low driven. That did not work. <laughs> What a play, though. He was onside, too. Oh, my God. It's going to... Dude, it's going to take me a while to get used to the FIFA 19 gameplay. Holy Lord. <laughs> low Driven is still... Wait. is What is Low Driven? Oh, no. I remember Kurt losing his mind on Low Driven. Isn't Low Driven where you need to turn into an octopus? L2, R1, R2, L2, and, like, everything or something like that? Wait. I think it's L1, R1... Is it L1, R1, L2, R2 as well? Or is it L2, R2 only? Oh, low driven is L1, R1 as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. All for a second player is now R1 instead of L2. Or maybe that's always been like that on PlayStation. I can't remember. Okay. So this is kind of cool to see. I, it at least feels like in, in the demo that look like look at how dead all my players are. Let's see. Does he mean business? Jesus Lord, dude. Joao Just could not lose um, Osta at all. Emre Can. It's with Joao good play. Really good play. It's a lovely ball from Pjanic. L1 to R1 to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Zibala just couldn't keep it. Okay, so that was a, also a silly play, but I just saw a big opening there for Alves. Tried to do a lob ball into that space and for Alves. Oh my cross. god, I just got destroyed. I, like, I just, man, I'm not pressing anything right now, right? Here we go. Let's try that again. Here we go. That's better. Looked a lot better on the radar. I thought I had a lot better room on the radar. All right. Well, no surprise. one nothing loss. First game. The Juve. Surprise, surprise. It wasn't Ronaldo that scored either. I mean, conceding a long shot. You know, to uh, Matuidi's 30 long shots with his right foot. I'm okay with that. Trying to figure things out. Um, so, definitely something of note is the first touches are going to take a long time to get used to. And I think once you get used to that, like the top players, the guys that we're all going to be facing in foot champs that you know are going to play this game 10 hours a day... It, you, it, I think that's going to create a proper nice skill gap. We'll see. I mean, and I think the time shooting is going to, you know, give us a bit of a skill gap as well. Um, I don't understand it. I, I don't know why I can't wrap my brain around the time finishing. Um, like, I know that it's a double tap, but I guess, again, it's trying to, like, erase the, the, the last year's FIFA knowledge, right? Like, double tap is always just low driven. So now, no matter what situation, double tapping... Is, is actually for timed finishing. Um, so I would under, I would assume then that a, a regular low driven without timed finishing is just L1, R1 shoot. Um, and regular shot is just maybe R1 or regular shot, right? So I need to remember that low shots... So how do you do a, a, a low finesse shot then? There's a question. Because again, a low finesse shot was double tap shoot with R1. 
a low driven shot was nothing aiming and double tapping so now a low driven is l1 r1 double tap what is low finesse is it still r1 double tap then there's no you can't you can't do a driven finesse how you can do that in real life driven finesse shot maybe not from outside the box because i understand that that doesn't make much sense but when you're in on net i mean i used to be uh you know uh a z level striker in in high school in high school football and you could do like you're in on net you literally just power and finesse it on the ground in the net like driven finesses are not in fifa 19. i understand that they may have been a little bit idiotically overpowered when it comes from like range shots you know where you do a driven finesse shot from range and it like just fizzes and curves past the keeper on the ground i get that but that's weird they, they, they completely removed it anyways legendary ai was the winner so that's cool um how is our pass percentage pass accuracy 87 okay so a few things we learned from that first game um absolutely when you set up your custom tactics and formations in game they and you put the players where you want them to with your with your normal setup the second you switch formation they all go in the right area so i genuinely think ea did that for two reasons first of all it completely gets rid of everybody um that sits there in previous fifas and starts with 433 pauses the game and goes to 41212 and wastes everybody's time for 30 seconds or a minute or however long with the pauses right so that's a good thing I do also think, though, that's a little bit of a way where they can just keep their old chemistry system. They don't have to add new position changes into the game because now they can just say, well, if you want to have Messi at right wing, start him in 4 one 2 one 2 switch to a right wing formation. Adjust one of your right wing formations. You know what I mean? So I think it's like a double-edged double, d double -edged sword. It's a good thing. I think it adds a whole bunch more customizability. Um, so I guess I don't really have a right to complain anymore that they're not putting new position changes um in the game because now you can just have whatever the hell formation you want you can have four of them and have the players play exactly where you want you can start out with um alan in the midfield switch to four uh four two three one and have him go at right back right like we did last year and then whoever's at right back maybe danny alves you can position him to right cdm or right mid or whatever you want in the game so that's cool um i definitely think that is a a big time bonus um for everything to do with the game i kind of want to play another game um do you guys want me to have a quick look at what is this new feature stuff oh my god is that just just what we went through good lord my bad okay um yeah i mean i'll have a quick peek at the journey again if, if there's i'm assuming there's going to be a whole bunch of copywritten stuff in there too right um let's see let's see what we got to expect for the journey you know i've been not a hater on the journey just disappointed that they put the money towards this instead of career mode so if people want to call me a hater for that then fair play oh god now we got music playing what is this danny williams playable in fifa Alex Hunter, Tim Hunter playable in FIFA. What is this? I don't understand what I'm even looking at right now. I can be a grill? There's grills? Wait, oh no, I can't. Oh, you can't actually be him. Oh, you can only play as Alex Hunter right now. Okay, all right. So that's just letting you know. Um, I'll, I'll do a quick look at this. I, I don't know if I'm going to play a game. I'll probably just and, back out. And, and. Oh. Oh. Lucky you avoided us in the draw, bro. Oh, yeah, I know. It would have been awkward, wouldn't it? Getting knocked out to your old team. Oh, yeah. Your dreams of Champions League glory mm -hmm. shattered. I don't know how I could have lived with myself. I really don't. More fit. <sighs> least you'll be going up against Terry, though. Come on, papers will love that. Brothers on the same pitch. Yeah, yeah, gonna be pretty special. Oh, uh, I'll be Michael. How's he doing? Uh, he's got the Williams International icon on his books. <laughs> How do you think he's doing? Well, tell him I said hi. Um, if I'm feeling like it. All right, bye-bye, mate. <laughs> Alex, there is a FIFA Say No to Racism event happening in Madrid this month. 
and you've been invited. All the top stars will be there. Neymar, De Bruyne, Ronaldo, I'm in. <laughs> uh, Next, you have to think about what charity you want to donate to. I'll set up an interview after training to make the announcement. All right. And then we seriously have to start thinking about your brand. The photo shoot is only a few weeks Ooh. out, and we have to have your logo locked in before then. Like, way just, ahead of you. Dudes, am I a hater? Oh. I just don't care. My mom, she's a proper designer. I've been working at this firm, yeah? It's uh, the I was thing is, that maybe is this is all amazing. Do the design. The, I feel so bad for hating on this because this is all actually pretty amazing. I just kind of wish that these types of things would happen in like a player career mode. So they didn't have to make the journey. Like they just have the career mode, have all of this amazing stuff. And then a player career mode would have like these types of, of talks and whatever and like crazy cinematics. But they just, instead of having it all be the journey and it, and, and it ends at whatever given time, um, where you're stuck with, you know, Danny Williams or Kim Hunter or Alex Hunter, you can build your own character however you want and then have it go through the player um, career mode setup, you know? I, I don't know. Like, I love all of this. I just think it's so... It, it's just not needed from a standalone journey. I, I just think in, incorporating it into a player career mode would be like the NBA. Yeah, like, like the NBA career mode. NBA Live, NBA 2K, the way they do it. Exactly. Again, I'm not hating on this. This is awesome. I just... I don't know. This is the last year we see the journey. So, you know, be interesting to see Alex. for FIFA 20 what they actually Come do on. with all of these cutscenes and all of the stuff they've done. It would be an incredible waste if they didn't just somehow port it into at least a player career mode for FIFA 20. Which maybe... Honestly, maybe, maybe that is the long-term plan. Maybe that is what they're doing. Oh, you know? come on. Something to think about. <laughs> Definitely something to think about. Yeah, but if it comes to us playing, I'm I don't really care. Um oh my god. What is this? You know, slide topping botches. What? What's happening right now? This is bullying! I'm out, man. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, dudes. I'm so out. I'm so out, dudes. I'm, I'm just genuinely... I'm genuinely so out. I'm... Dude, I just... I, what is happening right now, bro? <laughs> I was just getting mugged. That's just like bullying, man. First thing you get is you gotta deal with that. Ooh, okay. What you got going on here? Well, I mean, again, at risk of being a hater of the journey, or sounding like game. one, is this any different than last year? The graphics are a little bit prettier. Why not Leeds? Hi, yay? Why not Leeds? Bro, I just, I, genuinely, I think... I mean, again, for you guys that are playing the demo, again, this is cool that this is in the demo. I'm not hating on EA and the demo and this being in the demo. I'm not. I understand that, you know, for, for a lot of you guys that are just even waiting for FIFA 19 to come out, it's cool that they at least put this in the game. You know, I'm not hating on that. Just for me and After my interests. Wait, you finally had your this first- This just needs to be in career mode! mode! This is sick! Let, give us these types of questions with my Leeds career mode when I'm suffering 17 injuries in a row, man. Put this in career mode. I don't care. Yeah, uh, it was fun, but I just really was focused on getting the result. The fans here expect success in the Champions League, and I need to do everything I can to give it to Bro, them. Bro, do you understand how yeah, many people would be hyped if this was in your... And you didn't even, like, uh, it was just a surprise? Like, you went and did a my wrong, player career, and I don't know, you started out with enough, uh, Portsmouth or something, you know, whatever pleb club that used to be what, great and is now floundering just like Leeds have been forever. You know, and, and, and you're, like, playing your my career. You've got your own face, your hilarious face in there. You can edit in your beard and stuff like that. And then you're about, you know, you finish a game and you suck and then you're greeted with like an a scene like that that would be legit that would be so sick this is this is why i get so frustrated with ea because those scenes and what you're seeing in the journey all of that stuff is so amazing if they implemented it in places where people cared about you know and i i, I don't know i'm sure there's lots of people even listening to me say this saying dude i love the journey what is he talking about so fair play i'm not Again, trying to pretend like nobody likes the journey. 
I just think it's nuts that this type of stuff hasn't been just implemented into career mode and my player or my career or, or, or whatever it is, you know? Um, so anyways, there's the journey for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my coverage of it. I'm not touching it ever again. Um, I want to go into another game though. I really do. I'll, I want to play, I want to play one more game. I mean, I'm probably going to play an infinite amount of games, but, um, who should we try? Who should we try? I'm not going to really adjust the custom tactics anymore. Um, ooh, Dortmund? Yeah, let's go Dortmund. Um, let's play versus... Do like Dortmund-Roma. That Ooh, I like that matchup. That's sick. El Sharawe and he is one leg. Five-star weak foot down to this year. A two-star weak foot. Feels bad, man. Ooh, so what's this? Yo! Oh my god. Again, are we looking at right there? So it gives you a review of your last five matches. Conversion rate that you have had. Is that what it is? Just, this is just your last five matches. Conversion rates, goals, shots. Is that what it is? Dude, if they add that into Ultimate Team, something as simple as that, which of course has been in PES for a long time, that's actually cool. That's something that I think a lot of people wouldn't even, you know, notice. If this is, again, only something that is in kickoff and they don't implement it into, um, into FUT, I'd be, again, very irritated. But that's cool. Here's hoping that it is in FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, all right. Yeah, it, it, I really, really hope it's not just uh, kickoff, man. Our options. Okay. Here we go. Again, Champions League music and stuff like that. So I do hope you have an option as well to turn off the music in game. Again, for content creators, at least streamers, YouTubers, etc. Um, you know, as much as I want to be immersed in the Champions League atmosphere and stuff like that, unfortunately, guaranteed um, copyright from UEFA. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. Let's stick with whatever formation we got here with Dortmund, and then we'll uh, we'll adjust as need be. What is Dortmund? I didn't even pay attention to what Dortmund's starting uh, formation is. Awkward. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund. Oh, looks like a four-four-two of sorts or something. An element of caution about this selection. The four-five-one, Derek. The five players behind. I didn't even bring in like. Wow, yeah, you know what, man? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ah. Pull a sitch in on that. I thought that'd be dope. Bottled it. That's mine. Let's go. Okay, I like it. Well, this itch is that pace, baby. Doesn't he have like 90 pace? I like it. Try something crazy. Ah, no. I am, man. I, I'm trying to get my head around the uh, the time finishing, dude. I like. I, I legit think it's just you power up the way you think would be a good powered shot from a certain range. And then you tap it quickly after. I, I think that's as simple as it is, really, if you break it down. I might actually be overthinking things right now. Let's see if this cheese is still here. And firing it into the area. Okay, well, that was actually a pretty dangerous cross. He's on side, so let's play it back to him. Who? Okay. So chipped ball cheese doesn't seem to be very OP. I tried to do what, what you do in Pez again in that situation where you just do a stupid one-two with your attacker and then you chip ball it in and it breaks the defense. So good thing that EA doesn't have that issue. Happy with that. Used to be a thing back in FIFA 11 and 12. They got rid of that a long time ago, though. Pez, for some reason, is still in the game. There we go. Pick that space. Oh man, fuck me. I don't know how to shoot, bro! This is gonna be, my god, this is gonna be tough. Woof. Am I gonna struggle, man? I'm wondering if I like play against the AI for the first week or two of Ultimate Team, man. Dude, the first touches are both good and really, really scary. Like, I, I genuinely, and again, this is the demo. This is offline gameplay. It's an old build. But as of right now, it genuinely feels like the, the like, not crazy good players, their first touches are noticeably shit. 
Like, what am I doing there? That's my fault. But you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't know how to better state it than that. Like, I, like Leo Messi's first touch, you're going to be able to do a lot more, like, beautiful, intricate play with players like that that maybe have super high ball control. Whereas the other players that I have in this team, like, when I play the ball to them, their first touch is horrible. Which is good. That That's, I mean, that that is a compliment. If they actually start making stats like dribbling and first touch mean something, I think it could make high dribbling players even more effective this year than they've been in previous years, right? Okay. I, I still didn't do a first... Uh... Couple of good chances there. Good lord, man. I don't believe you can play versus friends online, no. It's been a long time since they allowed something like that, right? What was that, back in FIFA 14 when they introduced the drafts? Uh, that you could play against someone online? Let me try that cheese again. Great. Oh, I don't know how to head the ball either anymore. My god. Get that first touch. Oh, I think that was a bit better of a time shot. Who shot that? That was Hummels. You can play each other through share play. Wait, I can play Nep on the demo? Yo, oh my God, Nep's Nep's Nep will crush me, dude. Legit? Oh my God, I need to talk to I need to DM Nep, man. That's sick. I don't know how our connection would be. That's a good ball. Of course, got to the Champions League final tackle. Wait, did I just say Hummels? <laughs> oh, shh, shh, just, just run with it, dude. Another one? Oh, that would have been nice. Um, what do you mean, brother? <laughs> Hummels. Whoever I'm in control of right now. There you go. Delaney. I don't know. He looks like Hummels, kind of. <laughs> it was Delaney, by the way. I don't know how to play anymore, dude. My God. I kind of wish I didn't play Pez, bro. I've got all these Pez habits right now. It doesn't seem to be working for FIFA at all. I wish I just stuck to simulating games on Pez and enjoying the graphics and the, and the packs and stuff, man. I am lost. I am very, very lost. Look at that, though. Dominating the dumbest stupids. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's adjust formation. Ali. Get ourselves even a little bit more. I Should we try 424? Where is 424? 4132, I like. That could be fun. Um, I, I don't know how it differs too much from 4212 wide. Might be the exact same thing, actually. There it is. 424. Let's try 424. Um, Marco Pulisic will put a wide Eagle good so let's do that um, we got Isaac in there Hakimi wait is he on loan or did they actually pick him up from Madrid yo that's pretty dope um, I've kind of bottled this a little bit should we go Sancho Sancho such a baller dude let's do this Yeah, let's let's try that for now. Pulisic. Is he on loan? Yeah, who'd I think we're gonna bring into the team as well, but maybe later on in the game. Shinji. Dude, there's a lot of guys I wish I brought on at the start. He's checked for Hakimi would have been fun. Guerrero instead of Dalo. Um Yeah, you know what? Let me do that right now too. There we go. Okay. Let's see how 424 works for me. Be interested, man. This is one of the like most hyped formations for I think pretty much every FIFA person. I, I feel like I'm probably still gonna roll full four two three one for quite a while on FIFA. Maybe four two three one wide just to like get used to the passing mechanics and stuff like that. And then once I get used to the passing mechanics, defending doesn't seem really any different, though. But maybe I don't need four two three one to like be safe defensively. It doesn't. I gotta say, man. Um, the one disappointing thing. At least right now for the demo. Again, it is an old build. But it really feels like it's the exact same type of defending as FIFA 17 and FIFA 18. The dreaded just AI does everything. Like, I haven't really defended at all. I just stand back with... I basically stick with the same routine that I did. Ah, 
stick with the same routine that I did with um oh that's a great play for them to counter attack here that I did with FIFA 18 and 17 and it seems to work though so that's super disappointing and look like I seem to be punished if I actually try and defend with my players and options in the center it's been whipped oh. towards the near post and the half oh. clearance counter boys let's go just Royce man well the counter chance looks very real Let's go! Okay, so I double tapped there. It seemed like I scuffed the shot, though. It seemed like I scuffed the shot. It seems like I scuffed the shot for sure. Yeah, I think with 4-2-4, you've got a very lonesome midfield. So if people... If 4-2-4 becomes the hype of FIFA 19... For guys like me that enjoy 4-2-3-1, which I've enjoyed literally since the start of 4-2-3-1 and 4-1-2-1-2, I think we're going to benefit. If we stick to our old ways and play 4-2-3-1, look how good the replays are, man. I don't know. It, they are better than PES 19. They really are. The graphics, the player images, they are a step above PES, I, I, I feel. Now that I'm playing the demo. Um, but yeah, I think 4-2-3-1 and 4-1-2-1-2 central, like with the center mids. If you, if you have a proper good, like, beast mode def uh, mids, it's going to do well against 4-2-4. I just think what's sick about 4-2-4 is it's a good attacking formation, right? Like, if you're down one nothing, you got to risk it, man. And by the way, first touches are infinitely worse, as you would expect, with uh, if you're holding sprint. So... I think the common thing for people that grind competitive FIFA is to try and not hold sprint ever unless you're absolutely in on net. Um, another very common recommendation, I would say, even for this year. Like, keep your keep your finger off of R2 because, my God, is your first touch horrible. I don't know what I'm doing there. I could have chested that instead of taking it away. Super? Easy meet for the keeper, given that cross. Okay, so now let's go on defensive and see what formation we switch up to. Mario Goodson. No! Okay, I didn't put enough power on that. I was aiming up to Royce there. Ah, oh, that's a mistake and a half. Good defending. Okay, so I went to defensive. I wonder what formation we are right now. I have no idea. It's with That's... Oh my god, that's my... uh. That's my center back. Playing with purpose and control. Ooh. Oh, the FIFA cheese, bro! My two players just ran into each other and completely ruined the play. Ay, ay, ay. Dude. Oh, so gross. That's a good I just got cheese so hard, dude. Oh, oh! Yo! Oh, come on! That had to... I thought that was onside for sure. The wing back pinched so hard there. Um. Okay. So this is defensive. Dude, I love it. I love it that it then reflects... EA have done well here. Uh, this is one thing I I've really wanted is more customizability with how you set up your team, how you set up your formations... How you run with things, and honest to God, man, like, I, EA have knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. And what I love is I will build the easiest formation to get all of my favorite players in my squad, and then I will, like, that will be my base formation, and then my starting, let's say my starting um, formation will be defensive, and then that'll switch to 4-2-3-1, or 4-1-2-1-2, or whatever the hell we want, you know? Um, dude, I love it. I, I really, 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 really like that they've done that, man. And that's a small thing, I think, for a lot of people. But for someone like me that's obsessed with intricate customizability of their squad, both in career mode or in ultimate team, I'm very happy about that, man. I, that might seem like small time to you guys where you have defensive and attacking switching formations and players around. But for me, it's really, really great. I mean, it kind of does negate the point of position changes at all in for, like, Team of the Week players, you know? Because, again, like, okay, a messy right winger comes out. People previous years would rejoice thinking, okay, now if I want to use a, a winger formation, I can use Messi. Oh, 
you know, a striker Ronaldo is out. I mean, I know he's a striker now in the game, but you know what I mean? Like, those types of things that made Team of the Weeks exciting with position changes, now that you have these custom formations that are fluid and change in-game, um, that's interesting. Like, I, I wonder I wonder what their plan is with stuff like that. Oh, is he going to go all the way over? Dude, wow. Oh, I thought I read that. Oh, my God. There we go. Given away. Strootman the donkey well, giving away. Dutch fans are used to here, hearing that. Five minutes left, and just one goal between oh, baby, the sides. good spread of the play. I'm, dude, man, two games into the demo, I am so ready for FIFA 19. Look at that touch, brother! Okay, let's try it. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Why was that low? So I aimed, I powered up shoot, and then I tapped shot again when I thought the power was right. That's not meant to be low driven, right? That's just meant to be a shot. <laughs> Again, maybe it's Pulisic's it's just shooting is just horrible from range. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Shooting is going to take a long time to get used to. I actually like though that with a new with a new FIFA, you've got to learn everything all over again. You know, it's exciting. I'm giving away. Very exciting. Dude, man, Pulisic just gets into. I don't know how to play. I don't. I don't know how to shoot. I genuinely do not know how to shoot. Why was that not in the corner? Again, low stamina, bad shooting again from Pulisic, so he just fires it at the keeper. If that is what it is, fair play. In fact, let's see if I did aim this properly. Let's let's critique my uh, abilities or inabilities, if you will. Um. So, okay, let's see. I had this botch. Okay, let's see. Where did I aim? So we took an extra touch here to get in on net, right? Bro, do you see that? Do you see? I love. Oh my God, we are going to be able to analyze our play so effectively now this year. Not only does it show the angle where I actually aimed, it showed that I timed it perfectly for the shot for shot power, and he then just fires it right at the keeper. So, bit frustrating because I aimed it well and timed the shot well, but I think then we got to take into account the fact that stamina is super low and. I mean, in general, if I look at my team, I'm assuming Pulisic's shots are just awful, right? Details. Um, where would where would shooting be? Attack positioning, 73. Composure, 67. So that's going to kill that shot for sure. It's the end of the game. High pressure situation. Um, where are we looking at for like shots and stuff like that? Am I blind? Ball control, curve. Long shots, 58. Shot power 79. Where's like finishing and stuff? Where would that be? Bro, am I blind? Where Where is that stuff? Shot power. Finishing 69. There you go. I am genuinely blind. So, okay. So I just think that that's probably, if that is the case, if EA now have it got it right, where if it's the end of the game, if your player doesn't have proper stamina, if they don't have perfect shooting, they're not going to score that. Even if you aim it properly. I, I like it. I like it. That's good. It's going to be frustrating end of the game, though, if you do all that work and get yourself into a good position and you still miss. Um, but, you know, I think to benefit EA, that definitely is going to convince people to say, okay, well, maybe Pulisic at this point in foot champs just isn't the right guy that I need. I need to, you know, spend a lot of time or a lot of FIFA points to get myself a Kylian Mbappe. Oh, my God have mercy. Wait, oh, it took a deflection. Okay. Short corner it is. Cool. Deflections are a little bit FIFA cheesy. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, so, um, I mean, that's two games played. It's promising, dudes. And I was ready for this to be horrible because it's, you know, our, no matter what, it's an old build of FIFA 19. Um, you know, I'm excited. I think the gameplay is very promising. Um, it is a little bit worrisome. There's still a lot of the FIFA cheese there. I mean, in a couple of instances, there were some kickoff boost issues. Uh, again, that's yet to be determined. We're a long ways away. Um, my God, look at my shooting, dude. If you look at these replays, the shooting is just insanely bad for me. That's a great play, though. How do I... 
I finessed that instead of drove that. He kind of did a side-footed finesse there. But big difference, Marco Royce, which with much better shooting overall, stamina, everything, puts that away. Whereas I had a couple of good chances with Pulisic that I just for the life of me couldn't put away. So I like it, man. Um, I don't know how you guys feel so far, but I'm impressed.